YouTube and welcome to Turmoil in the Toy Box. I'm your host, Darren Hauser. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Prometheus Series 1 set of figures from NECA. This includes on the left, the engineer in his pressure suit, and on the right, the engineer in his chair suit. Both of these figures are eight and a half inches tall, and just to give you a comparison as to how fucking huge they are, here is a standard seven inch figure from NECA. So, yeah, these guys are immense. Really well detailed, though and Naked certainly didn't skimp out on the articulation with these figures either. We'll start off with the uh, engineer in his pressure suit. These have kind of the same articulation as the Rocky figures. Um, give you kind of a detailed look at his face here. Really well done, great paint job. There's a bit of bleeding under the nose there, I'm not sure if you can see it. Just a little, but you can clean that off pretty easily. Great design on the uh, the head there, and the body, and the rest of the suit, actually. Um, there's articulation in the ankles, in the knees, in the hips, with the, uh, the same rotation as the Predators, actually. Uh, Mid-torso articulation, as with the, uh, the Rocky figures. And then his head is on a ball joint. Um, very limited movement on the head. You can basically do left, right, slightly up and slightly down. Um, the neck is huge on this guy, so there's not a whole lot of uh, flexibility there. Has articulation in the wrists, in the elbows, and then in the shoulders on a very tight ball joint. You can't really move these shoulders a whole lot. I'm sure if I, if I kind of warmed up the joints they'd move a bit more, but you don't really need this guy to move a whole lot for display purposes, so. For what he is, he's beautifully done and the detail is just phenomenal on these guys so that is the engineer in his pressure suit now for the engineer in his chair suit same articulation uh, very different as far as the uh, the design of this figure though But this is still incredibly well done, really captures that, that sort of iconic H.R. Uh, Geiger sort of uh, design with these figures. Has these flexible rubber tubes here, 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 and there, and then as well as some attached to the helmet here. I was kind of worried about these being fragile when I first saw the, uh, the pics of them, but they're actually very flexible and uh, they don't feel like they're going to snap off at all. The other question I had about this was... Uh, in the chair suit, uh, this sort of uh, snout portion of the helmet goes down into the chest, and I didn't know if there'd be any head articulation with that uh, being the way it is. Uh, you can actually bend it left, right, sort of up and sort of down with this figure. This uh, chest piece right here is actually a rubber, so you can, you can have all sorts of flexibility with it without having to worry about it uh, coming out or breaking or anything like that, so really really well designed NECA just keeps upping their game and the quality on these I will add is incredible they did a fantastic job the joints are they're tight enough uh, that they don't flop everywhere but they also um, aren't tight enough they aren't too tight so that you can't articulate them at all uh, the paint job on these is is really well done like I said there's a couple minor parts you could probably scratch off but nothing too tremendously noticeable um, and then just the the size of these guys and and the design is just all around these are fantastic figures um, so yeah that's that's about it each of these guys goes for about 20 bucks on Amazon right now uh, I have not seen them at Toys R Us just yet but I'm sure they will be within a couple months um, but I would start checking your local comic book stores see if they have them in just yet and uh, definitely check them out on Amazon if you have the chance. The set together goes for about 40 bucks, but it'd probably be cheaper to get them individually uh, through a different seller. But that's about it. If you have any questions about these figures, just leave them in the comments below and check out some of my other reviews. As always, thanks for watching.